Hello traders, hope you're doing well. Uh, two weeks ago, I created a simple, um, I, I created a video idea on how to create a simple web hook, uh, which can capture your trading view alerts and send it to Telegram. I got a very good response. Um, head ends, I thought, you know, I'll build a few more things on top of this and share a few other things which I learned in the last two weeks. Okay, um, this video is also based on the previous one. Hence, uh, before watching the present video, I highly recommend you to go through a previous idea on how to create a simple web hook to send alerts to your Telegram channel. Okay, so the tools used are similar, which is uh, Replit. It's a web-based platform for hosting small applications and uh, where we are going to host our web bot and Telegram where um, <clears throat> we create a channel where all the trading view alerts will be sent along with the snapshot of the chat like this and then um, and then we have postman uh, which is uh, just for testing purpose when we once we create a web hook before uh, trying it on the uh, alerts directly on the trading view we can uh, we can use postman to do few small testing right okay so let's get started so i'm using the same uh, repl our uh, same repository which has been uh, used last time so i just added few updates to this so last time the last uh, video we learned that um, any any post message sent to the slash webhook or uh, any alert sent to the slash webhook uh, it will come here and it will try to process the message which is uh, which is sent in the alert and send it to telegram right so in this one we do a little bit more things we also try to get what chart we need to send it to the telegram channel right and also table format and login required all right so um, table format is nothing but uh, a fancy way of uh, displaying your data and it's only applicable if you are sending the request as json format right so json request is equal to true or false uh, which was already defined in the last video so if it is true then only the stable format will be followed otherwise it will this buff and this parameter doesn't have any significance okay um so what we'll do here is uh, we get the chart image uh, or a chart url and if chart is not null means if you don't send the chart it will work as a previous port uh, which sends just the image uh, if you mention the chart it will try to capture the chart as well right so if you mention chart so it will send another call to capture the chart and send a you know, screenshot so if you see what's happening here um <clears throat> there are two parameters which takes chart url and login required so login required so login is required when um, if you're using any invite only scripts or if your uh, chart is not shared then um, you need to have your login there because if you are using an invite only script and uh, if you want to show the output of the script in your chart image, um, unless you log in, others will not be able to access the invite, invite only script. So the, in, the indicator will not show properly. So in that case, you will have to use your login. So to use the login, only thing what you need to do is um, you need to set two environment variables. So if you see here, we already set other environment variables for channel and uh, bot token. This is for trading with channel. So um, apart from that, we also need to do set these two variables, which is TV username and TV password. So this will be plain text. But um, since uh, the environment, the replit doesn't, uh, even if your repl is public, uh, no one will be able to see your secrets. These are the uh, secured variables so it's safe to set even the simple text uh, username and passwords here okay so what it does like is um, you know when you when they call the send chart if login required it will log in otherwise it will directly open the chart okay it's so open the chart and then uh, take screenshot and then uh, send the screenshot to um, the telegram channel as a message right and then the quit browser so uh, what we do here is same as what we manually do Open the chart, take screenshot, and then copy this image, and then send it to the bot. That's what we do, but uh, we try to do it programmatically there. Okay, so let's see. 
let's try to do it now. So um, we have all the program ready and I've already set up all the Telegram channels and bots and other things uh, as similar to what we did in the previous video. So the webhook is something like this. So similarly, the web the replit URL slash webhook, JSON request is equal to true, chart image. So what we need to copy here is uh, chart URL, we need to copy this one. Okay, and also since I'm using sharing is equal to on and there are no invite only scripts, I don't need to log in. So I will not send login required is equal to true here. So I'll just add the chart here and then table format, I'm putting it as fancy grid. Um, you can also choose different table formats. This is directly taken from the Python library here. You can just look at it and uh, you know see if any format suits your uh, needs. Only problem with uh, you know selecting the fancy grid is that you know if the table message is very long, then you'll not be able to see it properly in the mobile phones or uh, smaller screens. Okay, so let's send this one now. So, so this is a JSON message which is from uh, my another indicator. So I'm just copied this for uh, testing purpose. So if I send this, so I got the message here in tabular format. And if you look at the logs here, right. So opening the chart, setting up the jam, setting up selenium, opening chart, uh, and this leave for 10 minutes, adjusting position by 100. Uh, it means that once you load a chart, it will be towards the extreme end. So I just to try to push this in the middle so that it looks much better. And yeah, captures a screenshot and switch tab and then capture image URL. So that's all. So we got the image as well. All right. So <clears throat> that's all we need to know about this. And maybe a few more things. Uh, you can uh, you can set the resolution by changing the resolution here. Uh, but if you set higher resolution, it may take more time um, to capture the screen or set up the browser uh, web driver. So it may give some issues in sending the alert, uh, you know, uh, in sending the images. And login name, we already discussed about the login and password. And uh, yeah, that's all we need it. So, uh, so yeah, so apart from JSON requests to to true or false, we also need to send chart image, uh, chart uh, your, um, URL, and the tip format, it's an optional parameter. If you want to send it, you can send it. Otherwise, it will print a simple plain format of the you know um, of the data which you're sending. And login required. If you want to use the login, you just need to send another parameters called login required. It's good to true or false. Are true uh, only only if you need to send true. Uh, with, um, login, then you need to send it true. Otherwise, we can ignore this because default is false. Okay, I'll not do this in this video. Uh, if you if you want to try, you can try it um, in your personal setup. Okay, so we have the webhook now, and uh, where we are receiving uh, the text as well as the snapshot. Let's try to put it on the alert. So I've created an alert here. Uh, I've created a small text, <clears throat> a small script here, which captures sample alert. Pick a name and then OHLC and volume values and send it as alert message. So if I want to capture, uh, if I want to set the, um, set a webhook to this alert, set this webhook to this alert, what you need to do, uh, you need to capture this. Uh, also make sure, uh, one more thing note that, you know, um, if you want to set the alert for multiple instrument, you need to create a separate chart for each instrument. So for example, this Ethereum, so let's rename this as, ETH uh, snapshot chart, right? And let's create one more for BTC. Okay, so if you are sending, if you are setting an alert for uh, ETH, what happened? Something, okay. Yeah, so let's do BTC. So if you're setting alert for BTC, uh, make sure that you use the right chart. Um, sharing is on. So this is the chart, uh, chart URL for BTC. 
and this is the chat here for Ethereum, right? So make sure that the, for the instrument, what your what chart your image you are using is appropriate or uh, is correct. Otherwise, it will send the wrong, wrong chart. And make sure that you save the chart. And uh, if you are not using login required, make sure that the sharing is on. And if you are not um, using login required, make sure that you do not have any um, invite only scripts. It's not going to create any issues, but uh, it will just not show anything as well. It will show error here. Okay, so this is done. So we have a um, chart image, which is here. And let's check, let's solicit an alert for this. So create an alert, uh, which is my script, sample script, and I'll grab this. Uh, so everything is set. I'll just grab this from here. It's already there. I'll just press this to make sure that everything is all right. So that's it. The book URL create. See, it's already started sending. So let's see our actually uh, click run. Yeah, we started getting uh, the alerts. So images will take some more time, maybe some 20 seconds or 30 seconds probably. Uh, that's because we need some, uh, it needs to set up uh, Selenium and few other things. So it's going to take some time. Oh, okay. So it looks like multiple images, uh, multiple alerts are coming before. So it's taking, it's lagging a bit. Uh, but yeah, you yeah, started getting images as well. Uh, yeah, if uh, if there are too many alerts together, uh, you know, there may be some mix up, right? You know, it may not it may not send the chat images in order. So um, that's something to be you know mindful of. Yeah. So I'll stop this uh, alert message because it's not it's going to create lots of alerts. Right, and uh, that's all. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, please try it out. And I'll share all the details in the description. And also I'll share the link to the REPL um, repository, uh, which you can just fork and uh, you know just make use of it. You don't need to do any copy, any code change or anything. You just need to copy the REPL and set these environment variables, and uh, it will give you a new um, uh, new URL, webhook URL. So use this in the same way as how I mentioned here. It's the same format and that's all right and if you're not getting alert message uh if you are sending an alert and not getting a message and all in the telegram uh, probably just have a look at the console here and see if any errors are coming so one common error i have I've noticed is that you know if the json is not well formed uh, you will not get the alert in uh, telegram if you have set json request is equal to two. for example let's say um, this quote is missing Right, this is me. This means you know, this is a string, but it's there's no quote here, so this is going to be an error. For example, if you send this, it will not send the message to Telegram, it's a failure. Also, use this here bad request, right? So, uh, you'll be able to see such uh, small, small issues um, in the log here, but overall, um, it's supposed to, it's it will work without any issues. Let me know if you have any suggestions or feedbacks. Um, and uh, if you get stuck, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, and thanks very much for watching this video. Um, wish you all the best. Bye.